Hi. My name is Rachel and today I will share with you this video. So enjoy. If you're beyond 40 weeks in your pregnancy, you may have heard of several natural ways to try and induce labor. There are indeed a number of things you can do to prime your body for the task ahead. One possible option is evening primrose oil, EPO, which can be applied vaginally for the purpose of inducing labor. Pregnant women like using evening primrose oil because it's widely available and reasonably priced. Still, you might be wondering if it's right for you. Here's everything you need to know about this herbal supplement, its uses, and precautions. What is evening primrose oil? This oil comes from the evening primrose plant. It contains linolenic acid, gamma-linolenic acid, and vitamin E over-the-counter EPO capsules can be purchased at most pharmacies or vitamin and herbal remedy stores. It's sometimes used in alternative therapies for a variety of health issues, including neuropathy, premenstrual syndrome, menopause, and rheumatoid arthritis. But while it's been taken for many years, EPO's real effect on labor remains relatively unknown. How it's used Evening primrose oil comes in capsules, which can be taken orally or inserted vaginally. While there is no standard dosage, it's standard to take 500 to 2,000 milligrams daily after the 38th week of pregnancy has begun. If you choose to use EPO, always start with very low doses. Does it work? According to American family physician, evening primrose oil may help the cervix soften and efface thin out. Other studies suggest that it can help shorten labor duration. This is due to linolenic acid found in EPO, which may trigger a prostaglandin response in the body. Doctors and midwives may provide different guidelines depending on your unique medical history. As far as its effectiveness, there aren't enough formal studies on EPO to prove its impact on labor or cervical ripening. Studies that have been published generally don't show a particularly strong association with the oil in kickstarting labor. For example, one study found that women taking the supplement were in labor three hours longer on average than those who didn't take EPO. Most of the positive experiences of evening primrose oil are anecdotal. The capsules are often taken in conjunction with other natural induction methods, including consumption of red raspberry leaf tea, nipple stimulation, and sexual intercourse. For this reason, it's hard to isolate EPO's individual effect on the process.